Hey gang, it's Bob Guppy, where the Guppy is the mob. I'm in Maplewood, Minnesota, at Maplewood Mall, and I'm at a place called Twin Cities Guppies. Again, gang, remember, if we can ever go out and help the fish fam, go out and do it. At your local fish store, a guy like this guy that we're gonna meet, a guy named King Lee, this guy is someone that we should all support and applaud for what he's doing. And of course, always support the fish fan. If you've not subscribed to the Mob Guppy channel, well, this is your time. The Mob Guppy channel, you get neat stuff like this, plus uh, live streams and craziness that goes on. So let's go on in and meet a guy you may have met before, a fellow named Kang Lee and his wonderful store. But uh, let's see, King's in the back, so let's take a look. He's got right up here, he's got a tank right up, and there's, uh, I don't see anything in this one yet, but I know things will be coming. Here's some bettas, look at this. I mean, just gorgeous. Wow, a black female betta, hold on. Let me get back here, see if we can get a better shot. Look at these bettas, just amazing. Hellboy male. There you go. The names are great. Black Samurai male. But he has more than just guppies in this uh, in his fish room. So let's take a look up here. Look at those neons. And by the way, it's you can go to fish store after fish store and never see neons this good looking. Ah, the popular pea puffers. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's go up here. Ah, and we got some amazing cats. Look at that. Tetras, beautiful. Ah, here's a popular one. The electric blue agara. Hey gang, remember, a LFS is an important thing for all of us to go and support. So if you have a local fish store, go out of the way to help them. These are your friends, and if, you're, if you breed fish even by accident, guess what? These are the people to know. They can help you rehome baby fish. Here's some guppies. Here you go. Because it is Twin Cities guppies, don't you know? That's a Minnesotan thing for you. And I can go full-on Minnesotan, because I am a Minnesota native. Kang is my compadre. He's my pisano. He is my family member, because we're Minnesotans. And look at this. Nice-looking platies. These are great. Oh, man, rainbow fish. Which rainbow fish are these? Those are the uh, dwarf neon. Ah. Yeah, those are really, really nice. Yeah. We'll introduce you to King here. And we'll, I'll interview him. I'll quiz him. Throw him hard balls. Uh, those rasboras look great. Those are a great fish, by the way. If you have a community tank of smaller fish, that's a really a good one. And here are the green rasboras. Again, kind of a fun fish. If you have, uh, you want to do a s smaller tank with that type of fish. There you go. Oh, look what we got here. Emperor Tetris. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Man, you're like the neon king. I love neons. I do too. They're gorgeous. I mean, these are really, really nice looking. Again, you know, it's you can go from uh, store to store and see neons, and you're not going to see them this nice. White clouds. Now, this is something you do not see in fish stores very often, and they're a great fish to keep. So, And look at them. They're beautiful. They're fun. There are a lot of moving around there, yeah. Let's see here, more guppies. Some assorted guppies. Yeah, nice. And well, let's put the camera on the man of the hour and we'll look at the rest of the tanks. So Kang, yes. tell us a little bit about why you decided to go and make the, make the jump and open a fish store. So uh, we've had the online store for a couple of years now and we have a lot of local people that wants to come and look at the actual fish and just kind of 
look at the guppies and kind of hang out and tug guppies and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard when you you're operating out of your basement. Yes. Um, so uh, we decided that one, our family's kind of outgrown our house, so we're we're putting a house on the market. And then because we're putting our house on the market, we need a place for all the tanks to go. <laughs> so with 200 tanks in the basement, it's kind of hard to sell a house like that. So we are like, you know what, maybe it's the right time. Let's find a, a nice local spot where everybody can come. And, and Maplewood Mall is great. It's convenient. It's just off of 694 and Highway 36. Yeah. I used to work right around the corner from oh, okay. here. And uh, when I worked uh, back in the day for the Hubbard family, and they, uh, you know, so I, in fact, I went over to the old office, which is, uh, they maintain it, but uh, it's empty now because they move stuff to their University Avenue location. But I'll tell you what, it, uh, you know, going through the process here, we, a lot of people in the fish fam like the idea, wouldn't it be great to have a fish store? Wouldn't it be great to be someone who does that? And and it's true. Yes. But it's it it it's it's kind of hard on the hobby as a hobbyist, right? Because uh, so like we were talking earlier, when you turn your hobby into a business, right? You kind of have to love both aspects of it, right? If if you don't like business but you love the hobby, and you turn it into a business. The hobby kind of suffers on it right because then or, or the business kind of suffers on it because you're not really into the business part of it and you're kind of more into the hobby so if you want to open up like a fish store make sure you really enjoy business right yeah well and again the idea is i have this conversation with people is that uh you know especially with guppies uh -huh. um it's uh for right or for wrong mm -hmm. People love the guppies that come from Indonesia, Thailand, and stuff like that. And some of the American strains, which are beautiful, yes, yes. and uh, in fact, quite a bit bigger than some of the Asian strains, people are not as excited about those right, right now right. at this moment. Right. You you kind of you kind of see you kind of see a, a trend in guppies where um, the the new Comers that that starts to really love guppies, they'll start off with like the mosaics, the yes. gumbo ears, stuff like that. Yeah. And then as they get deeper into guppies, then they start to have, you see them start to grow this love for the more um, not so fancy, more solid colors like the American strand, the bigger colors. Yes. The more uh, uh, solid the, shape. Yeah, right? and the, and the brighter right. colors, yes. that type of stuff. Yeah. So you you'll see you'll see the trend. Of, yeah. <laughs> of, of a, a new hobbyist of the guppies come in and, and do that, which is kind of cool because that's why it's like guppy is for every level. Yeah, and that's the and beauty that's the, about the yeah. sport, about this particular hobby. is It's sort of a sport as well, right. uh, because you're calling buckets. Uh, is that you have to, you know, number one, enjoy it, but also when you go into sell fish, mm -hmm. etc., you better have fish that people want. Right. Or your fish may not necessarily be the most popular, but the quality is so good right. that there's an a, you know there's a market to right. buy them. Right, right. So yeah, that's a hundred percent true. You know, it's uh, I I think that again everybody needs to know that you're at the Maplewood Mall, and we're gonna go look at these things. Come on out. What are your hours here, King? So right now the hours are uh, Monday through Saturday. Yeah. Uh, 10 to 9. Uh-huh. And then on Sunday, it's uh, 12 to 6. Now, are you here every day for this? Yes. <laughs> so, do your kids come down with you and hang out? Well, once in a while, my kids would come and bring me lunch <laughs> and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's uh, me and my brother who helps me out a lot and stuff like that. So no, that's, uh, that's great. And uh, by the way, that's the tale of being a business yeah. owner. And uh, I have a background in retail management. Okay. And and in retail management, there are no days off. No. Or restaurant management. Oh, no. no days off. No, no. You may have the day off on the schedule, but all of a sudden they call you oh, and yeah. say, come in. Well, when you're a business owner and you're a DIY guy like our buddy Kang Lee here, you're here every day. So oh, yeah. whenever you can come down and support his store, 
you're uh, num number one while well, helping him feed a family. Right. Number two is keeping the store open and then hopefully creating more jobs for good right. people so King can actually go home and see his lovely family. Because it's it's. Those are the open hours, but trust me, you're here before hours. Yeah, and you're after, after hours, of course. And, then, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, you got to love the business side of it also because it's not all just feeding guppies. And, yeah, and you know, smiling and uh, unicorns. and. I wouldn't trade it for the world, but... Yeah, but it's work. But it's work, yeah. It's a job. Yes. So let's go and take a look. Uh, you know, see, here's something you do not see at fish stores, and I'm glad you have it. You have amazing box filters. You don't find those at stores. Not, not a lot. No, no, yeah, good yeah. luck. And here are the guppies, and let's kick in here. It's, yeah, some of them are, are sold out, so. Yeah, it's a, well, which is always good. Yeah, this Japan blue, uh, blue tail. Yeah, this yeah. is a really nice looking fish. This one, yeah, you kind of have to, Oh like my closer. goodness, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But I am I love the blues. Oh, yeah, me too. And uh, here we go, we got another betta. That's the female betta there. Great. Now, do you breed bettas? Um, I used to. Me and my brother, since we brought in some bettas, we, we've been looking at them and we're like, we're gonna just breed some for fun to kind of, you know, bring back old memories. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, the secret of the, the bettas thing, here's why I've not gone betta, because mm -hmm. you can wake up tomorrow morning and have 100 jars out. Oh, yeah. And it's, uh, and for those of us who are clutterers, here here's a, a, a strain that I think is absolutely dynamic, the black metalhead guppy. And the other, by the way, there's another sort of side strain to this, and I don't know if you've seen it, maybe you've had it already. Have you seen the blue metalhead yes, lace guppy? I, I have oh, you yeah, haven't? They are unbelievable. They are an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous fish. And this is the galaxy blue tail. This is actually a much better looking fish in person. This is a really a good looking fish, people. You need to come down and see this if you're in the Twin Cities. Half black, red rose. Yeah, nice. Those are good. Let's go on top here. Ah, the Santa Claus guppy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on. I wonder if I can play this. Ah! The Santa Claus guppy. Yeah, these are big. Red dragon guppies. You know, by the way, the dragon guppies are real popular. And one of the problems with them, you know, is uh, for, if you buy these online or in a store, and uh, and tell me if I'm wrong. They're such a slow maturing fish mm -hmm. that you know you want to get a mature male, but you want to make sure they send you young females mm -hmm. if it possible. And when you buy them, just go from there because it's just uh, you know you want you want lots of drops. This is albino full reds. These are nice looking, really a good looking fish. The red is really vibrant here, gang. It is really vibrant. Let's see here. Half black blues. Yeah, that's a gorgeous. Here's another one, half black white or half black pastel. This is really popular. It's a very striking guppy. Oh, and the platinum red tail. And the dumbo ears. Look at the dumbo ears on that male. Holy cavoli. And this is the dumbo red mosaic. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is really a good looking fish. And the albino koi, which is a popping strain right now, that's really good. And the tuxedo koi, this is really nice. Let's get down here, and we have in here a couple, a uh, couple female bettas. A couple of female bettas in this tank. Yeah, and uh, there's another betta in there. This is a blue mosaic. And albino full white. Now this is striking. This is like a really good looking fish. Again, here's these green dragons, by the way, gang. Absolutely, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
So, hey, King, thank you very much for the tour. Not a problem. And we'll come on down. You have food. You have all the good stuff. So we'll go from there. All right. Thanks, buddy. No problem. All right, it's Bob Guppy with the Guppies and Mob. Make sure you sub and uh, hang out with us.